This is Steve with Rocky Mountain ATV MC, and today I'm going to show you how to service the air filter on a Yamaha Warrior. Maintaining your air filter is one of the single most important things you can do for your machine. Now Yamaha recommends servicing your air filter every 20 to 40 hours, but you may need to do it sooner depending on your riding condition. So today I'm going to show you how to do that on this 96 Yamaha Warrior. Now the procedures that I show you will be very similar on all Yamaha Warriors, but you need to check with your OEM service manual to be sure. To do this job you'll need some basic hand tools, rags, rubber gloves and safety glasses, along with a copy of your OEM service manual for more information, proper procedures and specs. Now we have a big variety of air filters here at Rocky Mountain ATV MC, so come check them out and see what one works best for you. Now if we do need to replace ours today, we're going to use the Tusk Racing air filter. First let's start by removing the seat and expose our air box cover. Now let's remove the five fasteners that hold the airbox cover on. Next let's remove the crankcase breather tube and now the lid. Now let's remove the air filter. Now let's take some contact cleaner and a rag and clean out our airbox. Now that we've got that cleaned, let's take our filter off of its cage and go ahead and put that in the solvent and clean it. Now in cleaning it, you never want to wring it, you just want to squeeze it out. Now you want to be really careful with this foam ring. These can come off pretty easily, so you need to be real careful with those. Now before we move any further, I noticed that this filter is torn. So obviously I don't need to rinse it in a warm bucket of soapy water and then let it dry because I'm not going to use it. But you definitely want to look for other areas for tears or chunks or that the material just come apart. Now on the on the cage, what you want to look for is the cage coming off of the plastic, making sure the the end cap will latch on just fine, and then also the foam ring that seals this to the airbox housing. A lot of times these can come off, you can re-glue them on, but we definitely we want to use grease when we install this. Getting dirt into your engine is never good, so you need to make sure that your air filtration system is sealed up properly. Now we're going to use this high-performance Tusk air filter. It's a stock OEM replacement that utilizes the stock cage. Now they there are a number of different varieties of air filters that you can install, like this Uni right here. It will use, use the cage, but it will slide right over and clamp on. Now another type that you might run into is this K&N, where it replaces the whole cage as a whole and you just put this in instead. Now there's also like outerwares, where you could slide this over top of your K&N or a foam filter. Now this is going to help knock out all the big stuff and help keep your air filter cleaner longer. Now we need to oil our filter. Now if you're reusing a, an existing filter, you need to make sure that you've rinsed it off well and it, that it's dry. Now we can just take our filter and we want to submerge it in the oil. There's different types where you can pour it on. This works really well because you can get it saturated everywhere throughout the filter and that's key. Now again, you don't want to wring these, you just want to squish out the excess oil. You also want to submerge the sealing ring on the filter cage. This will create a better seal when you install the air filter into the air box. Now let's put the filter onto the cage. Now you need to be careful doing this so that you don't tear it. Now you want to make sure that the end of the filter sits down in this recess. Now we need to install the end cap. Make sure that that lines up with the arrows. Now let's take some waterproof grease and apply it onto the seal of the cage. Now with the cage, the top side is slightly skinnier than the bottom side. The bottom side needs to go in first into this groove right next to the intake. So you need to make sure that that goes in. Now let's install the air filter. Now why this is important is the lid itself actually holds the filter on. There's a groove right here on the lid and there's two tabs back here. The tabs sit behind the filter and then the groove sits right over top of that, so it holds that all in place. So just be careful when you, do, when you install it and make sure that that's on right. Next, we'll install our five fasteners. Now let's reinstall the crankcase breather tube. And now the seat. And that's it. That's all there is to servicing the air filter on a Yamaha Warrior. Come check us out at RockyMountainATVMC.com for more parts, apparel, and accessories. And if you have a question, comment below. But make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is Steve. We'll catch you next time.